heard you talking on my name, but you ain't talking loud enough. I don't think you want them problems. Give you props for coming tough and never let nobody hold you. Cause I'm to the game, so to the squad. Y'all already know who it is, Lil Jello and B. Y'all already know Tut is never sweet. As you can see by the title, by the thumbnail. Sorry, y'all, my door is broke. I forgot I could lean on these. Okay, anyway, I'm about to help y'all with, with YouTube, give y'all some tips or whatever, pointers, you know, stuff that y'all don't know or do know or just never knew or thought about. Like, oh, that makes sense, you feel me? Because a lot of people keep asking me this question, like, especially when I be promoting my stuff, and they be like, you know, I got a question. It's it's always about YouTube, and it's always you know I want to start a YouTube channel. So with some advice, pointer. So why not make it into a video to help others who are trying to start one? So before we continue, make sure you like, come subscribe, and bell up. Ring a ding 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 dong. Ring a ding 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 dong. Yeah. So yes, I'm still on my ball. If y'all hear the noise, it's the door, but the door ain't gonna break because it's already broke, so it ain't gonna come off. But as you can see, I'm in a different setting. I'm in my room. Um. Once I get a ring light, I'm going to start recording in here sometimes. So when the other place, the, the other space I be in be occupied, I can just have my room. But the only reason why I don't record in here is because I don't have a ring light. But, I mean, right now I have good light. But that's because, you know, the sun and stuff and all that. So, but anyway. So, yeah. um, Like I said, I'm going to help give some pointers and tips that I know or that I found out. Because, like I said... It's, it's it's hard out here because people don't want to help you. Some people do, and some people, even if they do want to help you, they think you're supposed to pay them. Like, if that was the case. Anyway. But, <clears throat> before we continue, you already know I got to get thing, one thing off my chest, my soul, my mind, my heart, all of that is so important. It's easy as one, two, three, A, B, C. You know, easy as one plus one equals two, and two plus two equals four, period. So, you know, so... I'm about to help y'all. If you're new to the channel, then you don't even know what I'm talking about. This is probably your first video you're watching. Make sure you go check out my other videos. So I'm about to help y'all because it's so important. Are y'all ready? Are y'all sure? Alright. <clears throat> hey y'all. It's me. Lil Jell on the beat. It's me. Lil Jell on the beat. Hey y'all. Lil Jell on the beat. No, I'm the cut. It's what? That part scary sight. Hopefully my bun act right. Hey. Um. Like I said, this video is to help those <clears throat> who want to start a YouTube channel or have been doing YouTube and they need more pointers or whatever. Because like I said, when I first start, I first started last year, back in <clears throat> July. And as time went on, yeah, slowly but surely I got a little discouraged or I just, my numbers was going up, but they was going as, as much. Because, you know, like I said, y'all, um, people don't want to help you. And the people who do want to help you, they think you're supposed to pay them. Like... I'm not about to pay you for a question that I'm asking about something like I'm asking you a question for help and you think I'm supposed to pay you? Who do you think you are? Like it's crazy y'all like but um as time went on I started learning more stuff or doing more research because at the end of the day y'all YouTube teaches you how to do YouTube. It's really simple. If you really need help with stuff it's like ask the question on YouTube like YouTube really teaches you how to do YouTube and people just don't be doing their research like if school ain't taught me nothing that's one thing it has taught me is research like research really come in handy but like i said i mean i help those who who ask me for help but sometimes it gets a little annoying because it's just like bruh like you like you literally how to do a thumbnail on youtube it's going to come up like go to youtube search bar how to do like i learned how to do thumbnails by myself I learned how to do a lot of some of this stuff by myself. Like thumbnails, it took me a minute to learn how to do them, but easy as one, two, three. Like I said, I went on YouTube and I put in how to do thumbnails. Like y'all, it's so simple. But then again, it's easy to look it up on YouTube. Like y'all, literally, YouTube literally teaches you how to do YouTube. But one thing I can say is you gotta be consistent. Consistency is key. Now I know I've been slipping. But that's because, you know, I've been having stuff going on, family drama. But like I said, I'm back on the grind. But as for those who ain't new to the channel, y'all know I post every day. Like, I'm talking about back to back, back to back. At first, I used to do it every other day. But I was like, nah, why not do it back to back every day? You have to stay consistent. If you don't stay consistent, you're not going to get anywhere. And that's facts. I, like I said, I do my research. And the YouTubers that I have watched, they give they give advice. They feel like consistency. So I'm like, okay, bam. That's, that's a good tip. 
Um, another thing I tell people, you cannot procrastinate. This is not school. This is not, oh, I'm going to record this day and then we's going, I'm going to get to it later. This ain't, this ain't one of those, oh, you get a project and this is the de deadline and then you wait. So, no, it's not like that because the more you procrastinate, the more you're not going to want to do it or the more you're not going to get the results that you want to get because you decided to wait. This is not school. You cannot procrastinate. And I have, and I tell people that. And if you already procrastinate in school, it makes you think you can do YouTube. You see what I'm saying? You cannot procrastinate at all. Like if you're a procrastinator, YouTube is not for you because you, you have to, that takes me back to what the first thing I said, you have to be consistent in order to be consistent. You have to make sure you put in the time and effort and the work and if you're not doing it because you're being because you're lazy youtube is not for you this is a job like it once i explain to you everything that really goes on and what happens like this is a job another thing is people worried about the money people just think oh you record bam you get paid no there's this is a job this is like school you have to meet certain no numbers quotas like you have to meet certain numbers and things for you to even get to even consider to get paid and then your channel has to get approved if your channel doesn't get approved then you're looking s slow like you see what i'm saying like you can't just automatically think oh i'll record videos bam i'm supposed to get paid no that's not how that works you have to put in the effort and the time and youtube has to decide if they want your channel if they want to approve your channel you don't just get to be like oh okay i made the numbers now i get paid no that's not how that works you, that's what I'm saying. People want to do YouTube all about the money, but y'all not putting the time and effort and y'all not doing y'all research. And y'all just think, oh, y'all yeah, supposed to get paid. No. That's not how it works. No. This is a job. Another thing is you have to have time. If you don't have time, YouTube is not for you. A lot of people who used to ask me to help them make banners or help them make YouTube or do intros for them, most of them were athletes you definitely don't have time you got practice left to write some of them were athletes who had a job and still in school like you don't you you can't do that now if you're an athlete and you want to put your highlights on there that's one thing okay cool bam but if you're an athlete really trying to do a whole youtube channel that has nothing to do with basketball or football or whatever the sport you play you're not gonna have you can't do it you don't have time you have to have time if you don't have time youtube is not for you I work a nine to five and I still record. I have time. Cause the way my work schedule is set up, it's set up perfect to where if I want, it's where I record in the morning, whenever I wake up recording, record, edit, post, and I still have time to lay down until it's time for me to go to work. Or I record, wait till I get home, edit, post, and I, and I get chill time. Or sometimes I wait till at night cause sometimes, I want, sometimes when I'm sleeping good, when I wake up it's almost really time for me to almost really go to work but otherwise like you have to have time or make time and if you can't make time YouTube is not for you it's, it's like YouTube it's you and YouTube are in a relationship it's like when y'all try when y'all be talking about relationships people make time for the things and the people that they want if you want to do YouTube you have to make time and if you can't make time in a relationship what makes you think you could make time for YouTube you see what I'm saying you have to have time another thing is um you don't need a camera. Now, me, when I first started, I'm like, dang, I used to get discouraged because I'm like, I don't have a camera, but I have an iPhone 8, which has good quality. At the time when I first started, now I have the XR. But you don't need a camera. Get a camera when you have the funds. And some people still, some people have the funds and still use their phone. You see what I'm saying? So don't think you need a camera. You don't have to have a camera when you first start off. No. You can use your iPhones. You can do all of that. Because me, like I said, I had two iPhones. Trapping. You feel me? Um. Okay. Uh, another thing is thumbnails. Thumbnails are important. And what I mean by thumbnails, y'all know what a thumbnail is, thumbnail is. And if you don't know what it is, you better Google it. Or you better go to a YouTube channel. And the picture that you see before you hit the video with all the emojis and stuff, that's the thumbnail. That's definitely important because it draws your people's um it draws people's attention like i may it can be like something about chris brown but just because it's like chris brown doesn't mean i always want to watch it but if i see the thumbnail and i see him shirtless or whatever the case may be oh definitely clicking it just because he's shirtless you see what i'm saying like you your thumbnail attracts the people and that brings me to my next point titles crazy titles attract people like public interviews um do you see them titles like the questions that they be asking? It draws people attention because you'd be like, "Oh, they bold, bro." You see what I'm saying? Which is gonna lead me to another point in a minute. But like I said, titles and thumbnails 
are important and they're good because they draw the people's attention like if you don't know how to do a thumbnail you need to learn because you making your own thumbnail and really making it creative is going to draw people's attention you see what i'm saying another thing is do stuff that is trending which i mentioned public interviews right now that is definitely trending i i keep trying to tell people what's tr really trending is public interviews obviously couple stuff that's still trending because i mean it's new couples but it's just like and eh, you don't have to be a couple to do the couple stuff but lyric pranks and all that like do stuff that is trending that's why i said you gotta do your research do stuff that is trending it's not that hard to see what's trending when you see it posted on all social media and stuff like that so make sure you do that another thing is promoting yourself a lot of people ask me well how did you get your how did you get your subscribers like they think i just automatically oh boom i got them like or i pay for them who, who got money to be paying 1.3 and some change subscribers not me i mean i have money but that don't mean i'm about to what no this ain't instagram where you can buy your subscribers unless you know unless you really got banging you know people like that that's one thing but you have to promote yourself i tell people all the time you have to promote yourself whether it be on instagram snapchat facebook with twitter whatever the case may be you have to figure out what best way to promote your channel and your brand you have to promote because nobody's gonna know you have a youtube channel if you just autumn if you just post some videos and then you want to know why okay yeah you're getting a little views but why can't you get more because you're not promoting yourself you have to promote your brand marketing I'm, I'm glad I took marketing and I aced that like I know I didn't like school but when it came to projects and marketing and all that I was good with that so marketing when I, I'm glad I took that class if you in marketing pay attention if you ain't taking marketing you better take that class because that class helps <laughs> a lot like this is really what marketing comes into play with this type of situation um another thing is your videos should be at least 10 minutes or more why because first of all people do watch 30 an hour minute videos trust me depending on who if cj so cool would have made a video that's an hour and a half people are going to watch it or whoever the case may be you see what i'm saying people are going to watch it but that's not the point i'm getting at the point is is for more ads to play in your videos because how the how you get paid and stuff like that's what i'm saying y'all have to do research it's really hard for me to explain but basically the ads help you get paid to and uh, other things but it's so that way you can have ads playing and um that helps towards you getting paid besides you meeting the numbers it's also see it's more to it than what meets the eye y'all just think oh yeah no nah, bro it's a lot that goes into youtube and for those who just want to start it just for the money but y'all don't want to put in the work this is not that you it, it's not one of those situations you see what i'm saying this ain't no dice game where you get to roll the dice and it's like, oh, okay, bam. No, it's not easy money like y'all think. No, like, it's, it's certain things. But make, um, if you are a new YouTuber, make sure your videos are at least 10 minutes or more. Another thing is good editing video apps. I'm going to tell you some that I know of or and the ones that I use. Because like I said, it's, it's, it's so many out there. You just have to really... Um, do your research and really have to, to to look it up but me um i use imovie now a lot of apple users use imovie because it's, it's a good um video editing app um if you use your phone you can get it on your phone and if you have a macbook you can download on your macbook it's i like it because it's because i first started using it so that's kind of the software that i use and i love to use i mean it's others out there um, I'm gonna name some of them but like I said I can't name all of them because there's so many out there but all you have to do is really research or ask people for help but another app is pick money pick monkey which is something you can use to help make your um, thumbnails pocket video is another vid um, editing um, software that you can use to edit your videos if you're on your phone um, the ones I use, like I said, iMovie, I also use to make my thumbnails. I use Facetune 2. That's Facetune and the number 2. Bazaar. I don't even know if that's how you said it. Fonto. Everybody uses that. Fonto is a good one. Um, Fonto is where if you're making your own apps, I mean your own thumbnail, you can use that to add text and stuff like that. Like, I use them. Um, another, um, if you're going to use music, make sure it is if you're going to use um, music in your background or for your intro make sure you don't get copyrighted so if you want to download a song from youtube 
um, some apps to use is this app called Documents. Um, it's a real good app because it's easier for you to download and just like it's there, like it's it's just there. Um, like I said, if you don't and if you don't have a MacBook, it's okay. You can edit on your phone. That's why I'm giving me all these some of these apps. There's others out there, but obviously I'm, I can't name every single app. But the ones that I just named, those are the good ones. Um, me, I have a MacBook, so and a camera so I edit on my MacBook for those who do have their Mac have a MacBook I or don't I recommend you get one if you if, even if you have a phone I recommend because it's so it's so easy you can airdrop your video to to um your MacBook and edit or you can airdrop your picture like airdrop comes in handy with this like when I say it makes it so much easier and sim simple to edit is ridiculous and that's why I keep saying that's why I say you have to have patience because if you don't have patience to edit then this is not for you because sometimes things are going to go wrong or um technology is going to go down or videos might get deleted like it's been times where i had a good video and it got deleted out the blue and you don't know how mad i was but i kept pushing like you see what i'm saying you have to have the patience for it um but macbooks if if you're an apple user i don't know some people ain't apple users but if you are an apple user i recommend you get a macbook it doesn't matter if it's the Aero pro or even the um the desktop it makes it so easier to edit because you can airdrop like airdrop really be coming in handy y'all know how it used to be when y'all used to be in class airdropping stuff to each other like that's really how it really be when you trying to um do editing um another thing is keep grinding just keep grinding and pushing and don't give up I, it's gonna be times where you're gonna be frustrated it's gonna be times where you're like dang like why the it's gonna be times where you really just want to give up but you can't because if you do then you're it's just gonna you're not gonna get anywhere you're not um i feel like there's that's really i mean that's really all to it so far that, that i can really think of somebody might it might be other videos out there but like i said i just want to help those because like at the, end of, at the end of the day oh another thing that's why i have to make sure i mention this because people think this will help grow their channel um collaborations do not help your channel grow i'm gonna say it again collaborations do not help your channel grow i'm gonna say it a third time collaborations do not help your channel grow unless you are collabing with a big time youtuber okay i don't see some i don't see people who collab with big time youtubers and yes they their their numbers have skyrocketed that's only if they're consistent like let's say Nick and King and, and, and Austin, that whole group. Austin, uh, Austin is King's friend. If you don't know them, go look them up. But basically, he was giving us a story, giving us like information and details on how basically he was like, yeah, he did YouTube, but the numbers really didn't start going up until he started collabing with them. And like I said, collaborations really don't help grow your channel unless you're collabing with big time YouTubers or if the content is really something worth watching. Like, you, if y'all dropping bangers, bangers, back to back, okay, then, yeah, but if you're just collabing with a with a local YouTuber that's from your hometown, chances are it's not really going to help your channel grow as much unless the, the video is bomb. But a lot of people think, oh, yeah, collab, because a lot of people think that when they're trying to collab with me, yeah, 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 let's go, that doesn't help your channel grow. It doesn't. I'm just going to put that out there. Unless it's, like I said, if you're collabing with a big-time YouTuber, then yes, obviously that's going to help. It's like, okay, people going to look at you like, dang, you got connects. Now, that's going to help your channel grow if it's somebody big. But if it's not somebody big, you're just going to be looking, like, it's going to help it grow, but it ain't going to help it skyrocket. You see what I'm saying? So, don't get that confused. Like, yes, collaborations help to a certain extent, and that certain extent is if it's a big-time YouTuber. But thank thank. Uh, thank y'all for tuning in. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and the bell, ring the ding, 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 dong. If y'all have more questions, y'all can drop them in the comments, or y'all can even hit me up on Instagram, Snapchat, or, um, Twitter. All my social medias will be down in the description down below. Like I said, I just want to help y'all. Um, I hope this was helpful. I, if you, like I said, you guys can DM me. I'm, I'm going to respond. I always respond. I know I'm light skin, but I'm not light skin. But thank y'all for tuning in. Comment down with more videos y'all want to see. If y'all want to see more videos like this, advice videos, or whatever the case may be, put that in the comments. Shoot them to my DMs, whatever the case may be. And let's get to the money. Keep grinding, y'all. For those who are starting their YouTube channel and getting discouraged, keep growing, y'all. Keep pushing, keep grinding. And 
we out the same. I've been praying for forever, love, please don't let me let up. I've been working way too hard for me to really just give up. Every day's a fight to get up, my problem's nothing but hiccups. I'm focused, no, I won't slip up. I promise that they won't get us. I never let the worst get the best of me. Mama, I can feel you running next to me. I had moments where I was thinking less of me, letting the unimportant start stressing me. Hey.